Now the 37 launch is now at T-minus 3 minutes and counting. T-minus 2 minutes and 53 seconds and counting.
And the camera is running. Roger, one three. Uh, to transmit and record. Uh, Roger, it is transmit and record now. 120. Rain safety, safe arm, switch to arm. 115. I am testing the lights. RF system. Go. Propulsion. Go. AM. Go. Kilometer in quality. Mercury capsule. Go. Minus six. Helium to internal. Water full flow. Water full flow. Minus six five. Minus fifty. Water ready, light on. Minus 45. Minus 40. 40 seconds. Status check. Pressurization. Go. Locks tanking. Go. Water systems. Go. Range operations. Oh, you're third along. Mercury cap. Go. Go. Restart Go. 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 Go.
Roger. Reading you loud and clear, Gus. Roger. 
Roger, I have copy. ASCS looks good. All uh, flyboware thrusters appear to be good uh, in all axes. Going to uh, uh, beginning to unstow the equipment. Uh, Roger, and the SECO checklist is complete. She peaked at 6.3. Go ahead, uh, Gus, loud and clear, how me? Okay. Uh, seven, keep, keep. Uh, Roger, loud and clear, how me? Uh, seven, keep, 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 keep. Close. 
tracking should be done on uh, on a fly by wire low only. To follow the booster is a tough job with the high. Gyros are staying within limits uh, pretty well. Elapsed time 1356. I have lost the sight of the booster at this time. I'll pick up a retro attitude at this time for Canary Radar. Large piece of the Roger, thank you. Going back to gyros free, or to gyros normal. Aurora 7, this is Canary Capcom. How do you read, over? Hello, Canary Capcom, Aurora 7, reading you loud and clear, how me? understand uh, I my control mode is fly by wire gyros normal maneuver off I am picking up uh, retro attitude and automatic control uh, very shortly over uh, Roger will you verify that your retro delay switch is in the normal position retro delay is normal I say again retro delay is normal Roger Fuel one zero three one zero zero oxygen eight nine one zero zero. All the power is good. Aurora seven status is go in all respects. Over. Roger, say again, fuel please. Over. Fuel one zero three one zero zero. Over. Roger, that's copy. Please send blood pressure. Over. Roger, blood pressure start now. I have uh, west of uh, your station many whirls and vortices of uh, cloud pattern. Pictures at this time, two, three, four, five. Control mode is now automatic. I have the booster directly below me. I think uh, my attitude is uh, not in agreement with the instruments. It's probably because of that gyro free period. Uh, outside of a minor difference in attitude indications, uh, Everything is proceeding normally. Can you, can you confirm orientation, ASCS, and fly by operating normal? Uh, Roger, wait one. Send your 
message, Canary. Roger. End of orbit time. Zero one two eight one seven. End of mission. Zero four three two two seven. One Bravo. One six plus five six. Did you copy? Over. Roger. End of orbit. Zero one two eight one seven. Hotel zero four three two three nine one Bravo one six five six over. Um, correction, Aurora seven. Correction one Bravo. Make that one six plus five two over. Uh, Roger. Understand one six five two. Roger. Apogee altitude is one four three. Over. Uh, Roger, one four three and eight six. Roger. Here are sunrise and sunset times. Sunrise, orbit one. One plus two one plus zero zero. Sunrise, orbit two. Two plus five zero plus zero zero. Uh, Roger, Canary, I'm going to have loss of signal before I get these. I want to get some pictures. Have Muche, or correction, have Kano send these to me in uh, this order. Sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise. Break, break, did you copy? Three plus four, one plus two, zero. Did you copy all of them? That is negative. Uh, I'll have to wait uh, a while for those. I'll get them from Kano, thank you. Another blood pressure reading. The first attempt was unreadable on the ground. Over. Okay, it's on the air.
on the UHF HF. Do your read, over. Roger, Kano, uh, Capcom, Aurora 7, read you loud and clear, how me? Roger, Aurora 7, Kano, Capcom, read you loud and clear. Welcome to Africa, Scott. Uh, Roger. A blood pressure check, please, and hold your button for four seconds, and then go through the short report. Roger, blood pressure start now. My status is good, the capsule status is good, fuel is 9998. Oxygen 89100. Cabin is holding good. All DC power is good. All AC power is good. 22 amps. Everything is green and you should be reading uh, blood pressure. Over. Uh, Roger, we are reading blood pressure. You want to check your UHF low. Over. Roger, going to UHF low now. Stand by 15. UHF low, how do you read? Aurora 7, Carl Capcom, read you loud and clear, over. Uh, Roger, reading you the same, going back to UHF high. send your message.
I'm going to uh, be unable to complete the MIT pictures on this path, I believe. Negative. Negative. I can uh, fix the problem. Too much film was out of the canister. That was the problem. Film is now in tight. Small back going on now. Loud and clear. 
Indian Capcom, Indian Capcom, Aurora 7, how do you read? I'm increasing the cabin water valve and the suit valve to uh, 6. Steam vent temperature now reads 6.5 uh, and 7.5.
more pictures with MIT film, The Into the Sun, at an elapsed time of 39.42.
That was those last four were at F38. It's quite dark. I didn't begin to get time to dark adapt. Photo lights are off. Cabin lights are going to red at this time. Oh, man. A wide, a beautiful, beautiful uh, ring like in John's pictures. Uh, going to fly by wire. It is a reflection. It is a reflection in the window. That's too bad. I see. At this point, I'm not sure I'm recording on Fox Record. I will go to transmit. I have Venus now approaching the horizon. About 30 degrees up, but it's just coming into view. Right. And unblinking. I cannot, I can see some other stars down below. Venus. Going back to ASCS 10 at this time. Bright, bright blue horizon band. Uh, as the sun gets lower and lower, the horizon band still glows. Uh, it looks like five times the width of the uh, the diameter of the sun, even at now at the 47:34 elapsed. Now nearly dark. And I can't believe I'm where I am. Oh dear, I've used too much fuel.
is 7-2-100, oxygen 8-8-100. Everything is normal, with the exception of uh, the fact that I am a tad behind in the flight plan. Over. Right, understand. Uh, blood pressure is starting now. Okay, blood pressure starting. We suggest you do not exercise for the blood pressure since your suit temp is up. Uh, Roger. This is the story of the suit temp. Uh, I have increased two uh, 10 degree marks since liftoff. I'm now uh, about, uh, well, about 15 degrees above launch mark. Uh, my steam vent temperatures read uh, 6, 9, and uh, 8, 0. I'll take one more stab at uh, increasing uh, or decreasing temperature by increasing flow rate. If this doesn't work, I'll turn them off and start lower. Over. All right, I understand. Let me give you some record times here when you're sending blood pressure. Uh, end of orbit is 012818. End of mission. Hi, Roger. Understand end of orbit 012818 and 043228 for uh, end of orbit. Over. End of mission. That's affirmative. We indicate your clock is one second slow and this is compensated for. Yeah, Roger. Thank you. GMT time hack at this time. We're coming up on 133657. Mark. Uh, Roger. My GMT, my backup GMT are right in sync uh, with uh, GMT, over. That's very good. Okay, if you're ready, I'll give you an emergency voice check. We will turn off UHF and HF transmitters for this, so you do not have to change volume. Roger, standing by. Roar 7, shake up calm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Command voice, how do you read? Uh, Roger, Deke, loud and, come here, uh, loud and clear, emergency voice. Very good, very good. Coming back to UHF. Roger. Roger 7, Muse Capcom on UHF, how do you read? Uh, Roger, Muse Capcom, uh, loud and clear. Tell Jerry and Gus and, and uh, Lewis and everybody else there that uh, I worked with, hello. John Wettler, if you see him, tell him the saddle put up. Uh, break, break. Is your cloud cover such that I can expect to see lights or flares at Woomera? Over. Uh, Roger, the cloud cover shows 3,000 overcast stratus, and uh, we think you'll probably see them through the clouds. Woomera is clear. Uh, Roger. Aurora 7, do you read? Oh, Roger. This is Roomer. This is Roomer, Capcom. 
lights on, that's all.
attitudes are of no concern to me whatsoever. I know I'm drifting freely. The moon crossed the window not too long ago.
been clear, huh, me? Uh, this is Chassong, loud and clear, Aurora 7. Can you begin with the short report? Uh, Roger. I've been reading you for some time. I've tried to contact you on HF uh, with no success. My status is good. This capsule status is good. Control mode is fly-by-wire. Gyro's caged. Uh, maneuver is off. A fuel reads a 7485. Oxygen uh, is 87100. Uh, the Cabin temperature is a bit high at 104. The suit uh, steam vent temperature is 70 and cabin is 80, but I believe they're coming down. Over. Uh, Roger. Do you wish to check your attitude readings with our Over. Uh, Roger. My, uh, my gyros are caged at this time. Uh, stand by one. Standing by. I'm beginning to pick up uh, what I believe is, uh, yes, very definitely, uh, cloud patterning below. Roger. I am, uh, Do you have uh, the exact sunrise time uh, for the first orbit? Over. Uh, say again, Aurora 7. Sunrise time for first orbit. Over. I have a sunrise time of 1 plus 21 plus 0. 1 plus 0. Roger. Thank you. That's uh, correct. Uh, my visor was open. It is now closed. Uh, I can't imagine I'm that hot. I'm quite comfortable, uh, but sweating some. Uh, Roger, can you confirm then that the faceplate is closed and will be closed for the Passover appointment? Uh, th that is correct, George. I'll leave the faceplate closed. Uh, I have had uh, one piece of, uh, of the in-flight food. Uh, it's crumbling badly, and I hate to get it all over. And I have had about four swallows of water uh, at that same time. All right, you four swallows of water. Uh, do you wish to start your comment now on the haze layer? There was the six, and at the same time confirm that the flight plan is on schedule. Oh. Uh, Roger, I cannot confirm that uh, the flight plan is completely on schedule. At sunset, I was unable to see a separate haze layer. Uh, the same uh, height above the horizon that uh, John reported. I'll watch closely at sunrise and see if I can pick it up over. Uh, Roger. Roger, the queries, you can continue on with your observation. Over. Uh, Roger, thanks, George. See you next time around. Okay, John, good luck. Hawaii, Comtech, Hawaii, Comtech. 
Qualcomm Tech, Aurora 7, loud and clear. How do you read HF? Over. Going now to record only while I switch back to UHF.
say fireflies. Oh. Hello, Glamis. I have the particle. I was facing away from the sun at sunrise, and I did not see the particles. Just after yawing about 180 degrees, I was able to pick up at this. And by, I think I see more.
Comtech Aurora 7 loud and clear, how me? Uh, Roger, Aurora 7, this is Guaymas Capcom, how me, over? Uh, Roger, Guaymas loud and uh, clear. My control mode is now fly-by-wire. Gyros are caged, I'm, uh, and maneuver is off. I'll go to automatic mode directly. My status is good, the capsule status is good, fuel is uh, 6969. Uh, oxygen is 88100. The uh, cabin steam uh, vent has gone to, to plus 10. I believe that's a bad gauge reading, and suit temperature uh, steam vent uh, is coming down slowly. Now reading uh, 68 over. Uh, Roger, understand 68. How is your temperature of comfort over? Uh, Roger, my body uh, uh, comfort is good. I am tracking now a very small particle, one isolated particle. About there is another, very small. I uh, could be a a light snowflake. Uh, Roger, we're reading. Uh, we're having a, a bad uh, body temperature reading on you. One hundred two point four. Probably around is. I can't believe it. My suit temperature shows sixty, and I feel quite comfortable. I'm sure I would be sweating more than this if my temperature were one hundred two. The suit and temperature are yours on sixty one, so it looks pretty good. Ah, uh, Roger. Uh, Roger. It uh, looks like uh, we have a goal for the second orbit. Everything appears all right for you. Roger. I was hoping you'd say that, Gordo. You uh, start to conserve your fuel a bit, and maybe perhaps use a little more of your manual fuel. Uh, Roger. Can do. Uh, Roger. Are you ready for Z and R, Cal? Uh, Roger. Send them. Roger. Z, Cal, coming on now. And Mark, Coastal Passage. Say again. Mark, Coastal Passage, coming over the uh, Baja. Here? How does it look? Half covered with clouds, and uh, and the other half is dry. Will you pass on uh, this message uh, for me, Gordo, to all the troops at uh, Guaymas? Hola, amigos. Felicitaciones a México y especialmente a mi amigos de Guaymas. Desde el espacio exterior, su país está cubierto con nube, nubes and uh, uh, es also se me muy bello. Aquí el tiempo está muy bueno. Buena suerte desde Aurora Siete. Ah, uh, Roger. Much as God, just some ego. <laughs> okay. Give us a blood pressure. Here you go. Uh, Roger. Uh, do you, uh, I'd like to pass your two alpha time on to you, Scotty. Roger. Uh, Roger. Two alpha time zero one three six one three with a GMT of one four. Two one three zero. That takes into account your clock error. That zero two three six one three. Uh, Roger zero one three six one three. Oh, Roger zero one three six one three for two alpha. Here for golf zero three zero zero three one. Roger zero three zero zero three one for golf. There's a GMT on that a one five four five. Hi, uh, Roger. Standing by for the uh, uh, mark on the radar uh, test over White Sands. Hi, uh, Roger. Uh, Roger. Command roll now. Roll now. Now. I'll have to get in a better attitude for you first, Gus. It'll mean nothing this way. I mean, Coop. Roger.
Roger, loud and clear. Sorry to you, also. Have you uh, done your roll for the radar yet? That's negative. I'm afraid I'm not going to make it, Gordo, unless I can get the attitudes uh, down uh, close. Roger, we're reading your attitudes all right at zero now. Roger, the gyros are caged. Roger, uh, Cape, uh, loud and clear, how me? I'm clear, I'm going back to the HF. HF. Uh, Roger. You ready for your two Bravo time? Uh, Roger, send two Bravo. Zero one, four nine, three zero. Uh, Roger, zero one, four nine, three zero. And two Charlie Titan is nominal. Okay, stand by one. Balloon 
is out and off. I see it way out, but it. I think uh, now it is way out and drifting steadily away. I don't see the line. I don't uh, see that any attempt uh, was made to inflate the thing. It's just drifting off. I have only the uh, a rectangular shape tumbling at this point about uh, 200 yards back, barely visible. And now wait, here is a line. That was the cover. The balloon is out. That is Roger. There is very little acceleration here. Did the balloon inflate? The balloon is partially inflated. It's not tight. I've lost it at this moment. Wait one, I'll give you a better reading shortly. Bermuda flight, uh, reading you loud and clear, huh, me? 
Loud and clear, huh? 
around me. Roger, you are coming into UHF. Arrange, proceed with a short report. Over. Uh, Roger, Canary, uh, my status is good. The capsule status is good. My control mode is automatic, gyros normal, maneuver off, fuel 5168, oxygen 85100. Uh, my cabin uh, steam vent temperature now is uh, picking up and reading about 19. Suit uh, steam vent temperature still reading 70. I have backed it off to zero and reset it at, a, at one. Over. Cabin exhaust temperature, over. Cabin exhaust temperature is climbing back up to one nine, over. Roger, have you been doing any drifting flight? Over. Uh, that is Roger. I did uh, quite a bit of drifting flight on the dark side uh, over Woomera and Canton, over. Roger. Did you observe any haze layers? Over. Uh, Roger. I did observe haze layers, but not the ones that were separated from the horizon uh, that we expected and that John reported. I'll keep a sharp lookout uh, next time uh, and try to see them after sunset. Uh, on the light side, there is nothing more than the bright iridescent blue layer, uh, which separates the actual uh, horizon from the uh, deep black of uh, space. Over. Aurora 7, you are fading rapidly. You are fading. MCC is worried about your auto fuel and manual fuel consumption. They recommend you try and conserve your fuel. Uh, Roger. Tell them I am concerned also. I will try and conserve fuel. Aurora 7, Aurora 7, I do not read you. Do you read Canary Capcom? Over. Roger, Canary. Copied your message. Over. Roger. Understand copied message regarding fuel and consumption. Uh, that is Roger. a blood pressure transmission. Blood pressure is coming your way now. We are receiving same at Canaries and it looks good. Uh, Roger.
right side, I have the sensation that uh, hello. This Kano, how do you read? Over. Hello, Kano, Aurora 7, loud and clear. How me? I just uh, just pressed 
the coastline. Uh, I am over a solid cloud cover at this time. Uh, Roger, Aurora 7, would you care to send a greeting to the people of Nigeria? Uh, Roger, please uh, send my greetings and the best wishes uh, of me and my countrymen to all Africans. Over. Uh, Roger, thank you very much. I'm sure that will be appreciated. Over. Uh, Roger. Roger. 
Your Zanzibar, uh, loud and clear. How do you read over R7? Roger, loud and clear. How many Zanzibar? Aurora 7, Aurora 7. This is Zanzibar Capcom. Leaves you weak but readable. Uh, do you have a short report for us? Uh, Roger. My status is good. The capsule status is good. My control mode is automatic. Gyros are normal. Maneuver is off. Control fuel is 5-1 and 6-9. Uh, oxygen is 8-2 to two and 100. Uh, that's about all, except I have so far been unable to get my suit steam vent temperature down much below 70. Steam vent uh, or the water control valve setting at this time is four at the pre-launch mark. It may be too high. Turning it off at this time and going to three, which is where the uh, cabin is set. Over. Uh, Roger, I have them. Very good. Are you going to uh, fire your balloon there? The balloon is out. I don't see any reason for not leaving it on through the dark side. Uh, and I just saw a particle going by at about two or three feet per second. Oh, Roger, I understand. That is a negative. I think that the uh, the fact that I'm low on fuel dictates I stay on auto as long as uh, fuel consumption on automatic is not excessive. Over. Congratulations on your trip so far. I'm glad everything is going. Thank you very much. I now have the wide blue horizon. Uh, Band. It looks to be at this time, capsule elapsed 207, to be about the diameter underneath the sun. Uh, it seems to be the same thickness underneath the sun as the sun's diameter. North and south, it becomes less distinct and uh, wider. Uh, extends up uh, farther from the horizon. Uh, Roger, uh, uh, from Aurora 7. That's a hard one to pronounce. Uh, anything uh, we can do for you, Pat? A negative? I think everything is going uh, quite well. Roger, we'll, we'll be waiting out. Roger, see you next time. Aurora 7, this is Indian. Being over. Uh, Roger, Indian Capcom, loud and clear. How me? Roger, Loud and clear. Uh, we have uh, had transmitter trouble uh, on your previous run. Uh, we just got a message from the Cape. Serve fuel. Uh, I monitored part of your transmission to Zanzibar and understand you. Uh, yes, situation. Oh, uh, that is Roger. Uh, do you have uh, retro sequence times for two Delta, two Echo, and Golf? Uh, that is negative. I have uh, the nominals. Uh, Roger. Uh, Delta and two echo are still nominal. Uh, area Golf is zero three zero zero two nine zero three zero zero two nine. Uh, Roger zero three zero zero two nine. Uh, Roger Aurora seven. I read you uh, loud and clear. Do you have any comments for the? Oh sure. Uh, that is uh, Roger. I uh, believe we may have some automatic. Uh, Mode difficulty. Let me uh, check fly by wire a minute. All thrusters are 
okay. Roger. However, uh, the gyros do not seem to be indicating properly. Roger. And that is not correct either. The gyros are are okay, but on ASCS. Stand by, it may be an orientation problem. I'll orient visually and uh, see if that will help out the ASCS problem.
I, I am getting warm now. Uh, I don't know what to do with the cabin. Evaluating capsule stability at this time. The capsule is most stable. Uh, I seem to be able to uh, put it at zero rates. All right, I will do that now. At capsule elapsed 217.32, I will zero out all rates. Isolated is 27, 
Maine is 23, nope, IBU is 27. Two, two is now up. Main battery number two is up. I am over the dark side now. The uh, moonrise has not occurred. And although I still see the lighted area from the setting sun uh, behind us. Roger. 
GMT hack to 151042, mark. Roger, I'm right on, and so is the backup. Roger, could you send us a blood pressure, please? Starting. Uh, Roger, starting now. UHF high, Dick. Verify, Roger. Did you try using your mic button once instead of the box? See how this comes in? Uh, Roger. As soon as I get through the blood pressure, I can do it now. Uh, this is uh, using the push to talk. One, two, three, four, five, or three, two, one. Uh, how now? I see no difference. Uh, identical. Uh, Roger. Uh, is the modulation uh, pretty good? Very good. Uh, Roger. Capsule stability, Dick, is very good. Very good. I've noticed that I can uh, put in a one degree per second rate on the needles just by moving heads and arms. My head and arms, over. Very good, excellent. Your information will be no flows at room or out as fast since the cloud cover won't allow you to see them anyway. Uh, Roger, I was unsuccessful last time. Okay, I'm going to send you a Z cal at this time. Uh, Roger. Mark. Z cal coming off. Uh, Roger. And with our cal. Uh, Roger.
of four swallows at approximately this time last orbit. As soon as I get the suit temperature uh, tagged a little bit, I'll open the visor and have some more water. Over. Sir, you are still coming in very loud and clear. Uh, Roger. One of the labels for a fuse switch has uh, slipped out and sideways and has tied the adjoining fuse switch uh, together with it. This happened to emergency main and, and uh, reserve deploy fuse switches. gyros. They are too critical. I will try and navigate on the dark side without the gyros. Uh, the fuse switch labels should be glued in better, so we're turning off one fuse uh, does not turn off the adjoining one.
There is the Zylos pill. It didn't melt. All the rest of the stuff in here did melt. Scott, uh, did you hit that button again? We lost your EKG. 
Oh, you want blood pressure or EKG? No, we lost the EKG. Uh, possibly you can uh, press on on those sensors. Okay, the surgeon informs me that the EKG is now returning. Uh, uh, your other question, cabin pressure is staying at 5-1 approximately. Uh, Roger, no change in reading since launch, is that correct? Negative on that. It's gone from uh, 5.8 at launch to approximately 5.1 in a very, very gradual descending trend. Hi, Roger. My cabin pressure indicator is reading uh, 4.8 at this time. Uh, uh, Roger. Uh, I have no comment on this, uh, just that the trend appears to be good here on the ground. Hi, uh, Roger. comments on your balloon experiment.
Sector exhaust. Steam exhaust. Uh, Roger. Suit exhaust is seven zero. Cabin exhaust is four nine.
Hello, Carol Comtech, uh, Aurora 7, loud and clear, honey.
bottles of water. Tasted pretty good. Uh, Roger, seven. We were sure that we're getting off the times and uh, hotel. You have a hotel, I know. How about three alpha? Uh, Roger, and uh, mark now, a tensiometer reading. It's as tight as I've seen the string. Mark another tensiometer reading. Uh, Roger, we have those. Uh, now, uh, uh, say again your last question. Uh, do you have three alpha of zero three one one zero zero? Zero three one one zero zero. That is correct. Uh, Roger, copy. Three plus uh, three four, Scott. Three plus three four, Roger. 
Uh, Roger, can you describe uh, the balloon and uh, its actions that it was just? Uh, yes. It has a random drift. There is no oscillation that I can predict whatsoever. The, uh, the line leading to the balloon sometimes is tight, sometimes is loose, uh, loose enough so that there are loops in it. Its, uh, it's uh, behavior is, is uh, strictly random as far as I can tell. Uh, the balloon is not inflated uh, uh, well either. It's an oblong uh, uh, shape out there rather than a round figure. And I believe when the sun is on it, the uh, day glow orange is the most brilliant and the silver. Uh, that's about all I can tell you, Gus. Roger, uh, surgeon suggests that uh, you drink as much water as you can, drink it uh, as often as you can. Uh, Roger. The rapture sequence times for area 3B and 3C are nominal. 3B and 3C nominal, Roger. And we recommend you go to normal on your gyros with the maneuver switch off. Uh, Roger, the gyros are normal and the maneuver switch is off. Uh, Roger. I uh, 
uh, incidentally have those uh, little particles visible in the periscope at this time. I should understand the periscope.
7, uh, reading you loud and clear. HF transmitting. Uh, HF, how do you read? Over.
I have in the sky, uh, oh, at any time, ten particles. They no doubt appear to glow to me. They appear to be little pieces of, of frost. However, some appear to be way, way far away. There are two that look like they might be a hundred yards away. I haven't operated a thruster now for some time. Here are two in closer. Now, a densiometer reading on these that are in close. Extinct at 5.5. Uh, the elapsed time is 3.27.39. Uh, uh, I am unable to see any stars in the black sky at this time. However, uh, these little snowflakes are clearly visible. considerably now, and the setting I have on the suit is seven. I'm going to increase it just a tad more. My suit uh, valve, water valve temperature now is about eight. Hello. Hello, Kano Copcom. Uh, Aurora 7 reading you loud and clear. How me? I notice that every time I turn over to the right, thing seems vertical. Uh, but I am upside down. Now, for the record, I still feel that I could very easily feel like I'm coming in on my back. Uh, I could very easily come in from another planet and feel that I am on my uh, on my back and that the Earth is uh, up above me. But that's sort of the way you feel when you come out of a split S or out of a Nimbleman.
Cameron trying to get some more MIT film at this time. Uh, the filter is in. The cassette is in the camera. sensations are wonderful. This is the first time I've ever worn the suit and had it comfortable. Uh, I don't know which way I'm pointed and don't particularly care.
sort of a purple. It's almost like a very brilliant rainbow. It extends at... Uh, sun yes, Capcom, I check you see about all colors between the horizon and the uh, night sky. You seem to see more layers than uh, uh, French of seven. Uh, Roger, these uh, layers uh, extend uh, from at least uh, 90 degrees either side of the sun at sunset. Aurora 7, I did not hear your whole sentence. Will you repeat, please? Over. Roger, this bright horizon band extends uh, at least 90 degrees north and south of the uh, position of the sunset. Yes, I tried to release it over their station uh, and was unable to do so. You might, uh, you might uh, remind them that the balloon is still on. Roger. Uh, Aurora 7, understand. At 3.15 
Three hours and 48 minutes and 51 seconds elapsed. I'm taking a good swig of water. It's pretty cool this time. Stretching my legs a tad. It's quite dark. I'm in drifting flight. I'm oh, boy, it feels good to get that leg stretched out. Do that with the right one, too. I drank an awful lot of water, and I'm still thirsty, as a matter of fact. I think the, there is a leak in the, in the urinal, I'm sure. forget about the shiny finish on the star chart. Makes it very hard to read.
I'm using the uh, photometer now. To try and get a reading of the I saw a cut off. No, it's the balloon that I see. Still drifting aimlessly. Lighted by moonlight this time. And none of the colors are are particularly visible, I think. Excess cabin water light is on at this time. 356.24, I'm going to turn it down just a pad. So it'll be just about where the suit is. I would say, let's see, from that, that it jumped down to freezing. Hello, Muse, Capcom, Aurora 7, loud and clear, how me? Coming in loud and clear. Hi, Roger, Deke. Uh, my control mode is manual. Gyros are caged. The maneuver switch is off. My fuel reads a 4.5 and a 4.2. Uh, the oxygen is reading 7.6 and 100. Steam vent temperatures are 6.8 on the suit, and I just got excess cabin water light. Uh, the needle dropped down to 20. I've reset cabin water. At about six, and in this capsule, it seems optimum settings are uh, right between six and seven. Uh, outside of that, all the all uh, systems are good, and the blood pressure is starting now. Roger, okay, starting blood pressure. The visor has been open for some time. I've been uh, taking some readings on stars through the haze layer with the photometer. The visor is coming closed now. I understand visor coming closed. Okay, I'll give you a record time for end of mission. And we'd like to have you set the clock to this at this time. Uh, Roger. Three, two, three, four. Understand, zero, four, three, two, three, four. Please. Okay, it's going into the clock now. I do too, I overshot, stand by. Exerciser. 60 cycles and 30 seconds. Did you by any chance uh, try TM keying over the Cape on your last pass? I think 
think I may have uh, to mark a time for tensiometer reading on the balloon. Very good. I understand you still have the balloon with you. Uh, it's possible that if you go to deploy position and back to release, you can... Uh, Roger, I've tried that a number of times, Deke. I just can't get rid of it. Okay, well, she'll probably come in your face on that real far, but I'm sure you'll lose it shortly after that. I, uh, I figure, I hope so. Huh. Okay, for information, uh, Clark is five tenths, and it's only one eighth to the north over Port Moresby, so if you see some lights up in that area, uh, we'd like to know about it. Hi, uh, Roger. I'll let you know. Would you give us a CET hack, please? Roger. CET on my mark will be four hours, one minute, three five seconds. Stand by. Mark four o one three five. Roger, yeah, you're still one second off. That's fine. Uh, the flight plan calls for you to have a drink of water over here. Do you feel like you need one? Uh, Roger, I just I have had uh, three long drinks of water. The last one was. Uh, I think about uh, 10 minutes ago, Dick. Probably loaded for the day, then. Roger. Contact time here, if you have... Uh, Roger, Dick. The, the haze layer... Uh, ...is very bright. I would say uh, 8 to 10 degrees above the real horizon, and I would say that the haze layer is about twice as high above the horizon as the, the uh, bright blue band at sunset is. It's twice as thick. Uh, a star, stars are occluded. As they pass through this haze layer, I have a good uh, set of stars to watch going through at this time. I'll try and get some photometer readings. Yeah, I can understand it is twice as sunset. It is not twice as thick, it's thinner, but it is located at a distance about twice uh, as far away as the top of the the uh, band at sunset. It's very narrow and as bright as the horizon uh, of the Earth itself. is a reading on FECA in, in the Big Dipper prior to uh, entry in the, into the haze layer. It includes It is extinct at roughly uh, 2.5. The radical extincts at 5.5. PM mark for the time in the middle of the haze layer. Becca, stand by. Hi, uh, Roger. Stand by, Wilmer. Roger, stand by. Stand by. Roger, stand by. In the middle of the haze layer, Seca will not... I can't even get uh, a reading on it through the photometer. Seca is now below the horizon, or below, and uh, Mark, about five seconds ago now, it emerged from...
from the brightest part of the haze layer. It is now clearly visible. Uh, Woomera, my status is very good. Fuel is uh, uh, 45 and 42. Stand by, I'll give you a full report very shortly. All right, Roger, standing by. Visor coming open. Uh, Roger, visor open.
There is the moon.
movement here with that light the way it is.
28. And uh, above the pictures now, here is one of the balloon. Sun is too bright now. That's where they come from. They're little tiny white pieces of frost. I judge from this that the whole side of the capsule must have frost on it. Hello, Hawaii, loud and clear. How me? Hawaii Comtech. Seven, Hawaii Comtech. Uh, I read you momentarily on the HF. How do you read over? Uh, Roger, reading you uh, loud and clear. Hawaii, how me? Aurora 7, uh, Hawaii Capcom. How do you read me? Roger, do you read me or do you not, James? Gee, you are weak. I thought I read you. You are readable. Are you on UHF high? Uh, Roger, UHF high. Go ahead to Hawaii. Uh, is your maneuver switch off? The maneuver switch is off. Uh, Roger, are you ready to start your uh, pre retro sequence checklist? Uh, Roger, one uh, moment. I'm aligning uh, uh, my attitude, so everything is fine. I have part of the uh, stowage checklist uh, taken care of at this time. Uh, Roger. Virgin 
Emergency retro sequence is uh, armed and uh, retro manual is armed. I've got to evaluate this retro uh, ASCS problem, Jim, before we go any further. Uh, Roger. Uh, uh, standing by. Make sure your emergency drug deployment and emergency main uh, fuses are off. Uh, Roger. They are. Okay, I'm going now to fly-by-wire, uh, to Oxdam, and now the attitudes do not agree. Five minutes to retrograde light is on. I have a rate of descent, too, of about 10, 12 feet per second. Have a rate of descent of about uh, 12 feet per second. What light was on? Yes, I am back on flyby wire trying to orient. Uh... Scott, let's try to get some of this retro sequence list uh, checked off before you get to uh, California. Okay, go through it, Jim. Roger, Jim. Go through the checklist for me. Uh, Roger. Uh, square switch on. Auto auto jettison switch off. Channels normal. Manual handle out. Roll yaw and pitch handle in. Roll yaw and pitch her in. Uh, retro attitude auto. Retract scope auto. Maneuver switch off. Periscope lever up. UHF high power, transmit on UHF, speaking continuous, bus power on transmit and record, all batteries check. Do you copy? Hi, uh, Roger. It's complete. Uh, transmitting in the blind, we have LOS. Ground elapsed time is on my mark. Capcom. Seven is Capcom. 
are you and Roger Rogers? Uh, yes, I don't have agreement with ASCS and the window, Al. I think I'm going to have to go to fly-by-wire and use the window and the scope. ASCS is bad. I'm on fly-by-wire and manual. Oh, Roger, we can, sir. About 30 seconds to go. About uh, 10 seconds on my mark. Roger. Right on. 
Lazio. All right, Jerry, you have plenty of time. You have uh, about seven minutes before 05G, so take care, Roger. Okay, I can make out very, very small uh, farmland and pasture land below. I see individual fields, rivers, lakes, roads, I think. I'll get back to re-entry attitude. I recommend you get close to a re-entry attitude using as little fuel as possible and stand by on fly-by-wire until the rates develop. Over. Oh, Roger. Will do.
light on fuel, Gus. I've so I've got the horizon in view now, trying to keep the rates very low. The, uh, I just lost part of the balloon, the string from the balloon. Check us. Yes, we're in good shape for stowage. All right, Sean, have you completed your entry? Hi, Roger.
country is going pretty well. Ox Damp uh, seems to be keeping uh, oscillations uh, pretty good. We're at uh, one and a half G's now. There was a like it came off the tower. Oh, I hope not. Okay, we're reading three Gs. I think we'll have to let the re-entry uh, damping check go this time. Reading now 4G's, the re-entry seems to be uh, going okay. Two breaks there that uh, Oxnap appears to be handling. I don't think I'm oscillating too much. Seem to be rolling right around that glow. Sky behind. Auto fuel still reads 14. We're at 6.5 G's. Great star holding to within one and a half degrees per second, indicating about 10 degrees per second roll, right? Uh, still peaked at 6.8 G's. The range glow has disappeared now. We're off peak G, still indicating 14% auto fuel, back to 5 G's. And I'm standing by for altimeter off the peg. Cape, do you read yet? Altimeter is off the peg, 100 feet, rate of descent is coming down. Cabin pressure is, uh, or cabin pressure is holding okay. Still losing a few streaming hot shock waves. Smoke pouring out behind. Getting ready for the drogue at 45. Oscillations are pretty good. I think ASCS has given up the ghost at this point. Urgency drogue is a uh, fuse switch is coming out now to on. oscillations now, and we're out of fuel. Looks from the sun like it might be about 45 degrees. Oh, it's coming like it's really going over. I think I better take a try on the drogue. Drogue out manually at 25. It's holding, and uh, it was just in time main. Deploy. Fuse switch is on now. 21 indicated. Snorkel override. Now, urgency flow rate on. Urgency main. Fuse switch at 15. Standing by for the main. Shoot at 10. Cabin pressure. Cabin altimeter. Agree on altitude. Should be 13,000 now. Mark 10. I see the, the main is out and reefed. And it looks good to me. The main chute is out. Landing bag goes to auto now. 
The drogue has fallen away. I see a perfect shoot. Visor open. Cabin temperature is only 110 at this point. Helmet hose is off. Anybody read Aurora 7? Over. Hello, any Mercury Recovery Force? Does anyone read Aurora 7? Over. Uh, Roger, say again, you are very weak. I'm reading you. I'm on the main chute at 5,000. Status is good. Uh, I uh, am not in contact with any recovery forces. Do you have any information on the recovery time? Over. How do you read Aurora 7? Over. Uh, Roger. Loud and clear. Aurora, Aurora 7 reading the Cape. Uh, loud and clear. How me, Gus? Uh, Gus, how do you read? Roger, understand one hour. This is Mercury Control. Our data at this time indicates that it is distinctly possible that the Aurora 7 spacecraft may land considerably longer downrange than it was planned. Our present estimate of its landing point may go as far as 200 miles downrange. For that reason, we feel that his ionization period now is over, but he has exceeded the range of our transmission equipment here at Cape Canaveral. We are diverting aircraft into the area, uh, both for the purpose of re-establishing communications and effecting a rescue operation. This is Mercury Control. This is Mercury Control. We have just received a report through our recovery operations branch that an aircraft in the landing area has sighted the spacecraft and has sighted a life raft with a gentleman by the name of Carpenter riding in it. This now explains why our communications have not been too effective. Astronaut M. Scott Carpenter has been sighted in his life raft alongside of his spacecraft in the landing zone. This is Mercury Control standing by.